We'll guide you through how to screen record your Mac with internal audio. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. So go and open up a web browser. I personally use Chrome, but you can use Safari. And what you want to do is go to a search engine and search for something called OBS. OBS is a free screen recorder, which we can use to screen record our audio. I'll guide you through how you can use it and set it up. So search for OBS and make sure you go to obsproject.com. Here we are, and then all you need to do is download uh, the Mac version. So click on Mac OS and then choose if you've got um, an Intel or Apple Silicon. To check this, you just click on the Apple logo and tap on about this Mac. And then look at your chip. And as you can see, I've got an M1, which means I've got the Apple Silicon. So I'd go and click on that option. The download will then begin. Once it's finished downloading, all you need to do is go and install OBS, just like any other program. Once it's installed, then what you can do is go and open it up. And here we are. So quickly to guide you through how to set it up, all you need to do is make sure you've got a scene created. I'm pretty sure when you first open up OBS, there'll be a scene here. If there's no scenes here, just press on the plus button and I'll just name this record and then just press OK. Then come into sources and go click on the plus button and then you want to tap on a Mac OS screen capture. Then press OK. So you can choose the display if you've got multiple. I've just got one. So tap OK. And you may need to go and resize this uh, just like so. And I may have to make it a bit smaller once again. You'll see that we're getting black bars here. And this is because your Mac doesn't use a 16 by 9 ratio. And it isn't 1920 by 1080p. To change this, you just go to the bottom right and tap on settings. Then go over to the left and tap on video. And then we need to go over to the base canvas resolution. Click here. And you probably want to choose the highest version there. That's going to be an extremely high quality. As you can see, it's double 1920. But then what you can do is come down to the output. And then you can make this um, 1812 by 1178. This is pretty close to 1920 by 1080p, but it just means that, that it isn't going to have black bars, which is just what you want. Once you've done that, then head over to the left again and tap on audio and make sure you've got your mic selected under mic. I'll use my MacBook Pro mic. And finally, just head over to the left to output and come down to recording as we're not going to be streaming. You can choose where your file is going to be saved. So that's where mine is in my movies folder. I'm going to change that to my documents. Just click browse and you can then decide recording quality. I think that's a good sort of combination between quality and file size. Recording format, I always like to do MP4 as it's the easiest to sort of use in editing software and things like that. And that's it. Then you can press OK. And then you may need to go and resize your screen again. Just click on it and then we can make it fit perfectly just like that. And in audio mix, you're going to see a mic. And as I speak, you can see it move. And then we've got Mac OS screen capture. I've now started my screen recording in OBS to show you it working. In the audio mixer, you may need to adjust the screen capture audio. Essentially, the audio from your Mac may be too loud and louder than your mic. So you may want to go and decrease it. And also, I'm personally not going to record my mic in OBS and just my um, internal audio because I'm recording my mic using a separate program on another computer. And now just to show you this works, what I'm going to do is come back to my browser here. I'm going to start playing this video, just turn my volume down so you guys can't hear it. Pressing As you can bars. see, it's now and being picked up by OBS and, and you can like see so. it appearing to here just to show you that it is account, working. You you now you know that it works, let me go and pause this and then I'll come back to OBS. Once you're finished, you can go and press on stop recording and then go to the file path that you set and you can then go and see your video. If you found this useful, please leave a like.